Hey everybody, this is Esteban with EG Kayak Catfishing and Outdoors and I wanted to introduce you to my kayak. This is what I use when I go out fishing. So what I have is a Pelican Catch 100 and I bought this used about a year, year and a half ago or so. Right before the pandemic really, really hit. Um, when I bought it, I bought it in July, and then in August, I had to go out of town for my company, and I was out for a whole month. I didn't get to fish that summer, and then, of course, we were on lockdown, and so I didn't get to use it that whole year. This year, I've taken it out quite a few times, and let me tell you, I really enjoy it. But I wanted to tell you about some of the additions that I've made since buying the kayak. Uh, when I bought it, um, it only had the two the scotty scotty rails here one on one side one on the other and uh, it also had this this mount right here with a with a rod holder and came with the anchor trolley there and it had two extension arms one a scotty rod holder and the other one was some other kind of rod holder that i really didn't like so i took them off um i decided to add two more tracks here to make the rods closer to me from my from my seat so i added that then i added two more back here for two rear rod holders then i added the lights i added the, these lights here and man let me tell you at night they come in handy because they light up the water really well i can see where i'm going then i added navigation lights i don't know why at the time i just added them but now that I've added another item that I wasn't going to until it was offered to me for free, which was this trolling motor. It's a Minn Kota 50-pound uh, thrust trolling motor that a friend of mine des decided to let me have. And so I had to add the trolling motor to it, which I went ahead and I went this route. I added the 2x4 uh, going through the handle, coming up to this uh, cross beam, which... I added two more uh, one-inch Scotty rails here and attached it that way. And let me tell you, there's no play in it. It's really secure. It doesn't move here at the handle. It's really, really secure. I love it. So I went ahead because I didn't, you know, the, it's such a gap between the seat and the trolling motor. I decided to uh, take the uh, the control tiller off, run the wires down through back to the front and then I added a lift system to be able to lift it out of the water whenever I get, hit, get into the shallow water or when I'm landing the boat and so I'm using a pulley system to raise it up and down and uh, it works perfect and I also added a, a PVC handle so I can steer the kayak and it works just fine and so I also added a rear hatch so if I need to reach under there to, to work on something, I can. If I need wanted to store stuff in there, I can. Um, also, I added a uh, paddle holder on the other side over here. And uh, so I can carry the paddle with me. Of course, I use the strap also as a sec uh, security blanket. Uh, that ain't going to go anywhere. And I uh, also added a fish finder, which is where I, I mount it right here to this one and I have it come up over in the middle and of course this Scotty mount I use for the transducer arm and I hang it over the side of the kayak um, let me tell you everything works fine oh I also add, added this to the board I drilled a hole added a stake with a PVC pipe uh, taped to it this was a rod holder for the bank but I stuck this light this telescopic pole leading up to that light so I have something at night to um, shine on me so I can, uh, you know, uh, take the hook out of the fish's mouth when I catch something or if I need to change out lines or lures or what have you. Uh, I've got that. And I also added this, an additional uh, Scotty rail, one inch, for my 360 light and flagpole. I know I wish I had gone with a skinnier PVC pipe, but... Um, that's going to have to do for now. It really, it, everything works. Plus the fact that both lights 
are controlled by remote control. Uh, let me show you right quick. Let me turn this on. And then this remote control controls the overhead light. See? So I don't have to uh, fiddle around behind me. And then this remote control is for that light. So I have power. I have light. And of course up here, this battery runs my lights. So this switch would turn on the headlamp. And then this switch turns on the navigation lights. Like so. So, that gives me plenty of lighting at night. I don't have to worry about trying to find my way. And see, navigation lights. Works perfect. All in all, I'm really happy with this kayak. Um, I really love the mods that I've done to it. Um, if you have any questions or have any suggestions, or if you think I've done too much to this kayak, uh, let me know in the comment section. I uh, would love to hear from you. And if this video gives you any ideas uh, uh, for your kayak, um, let me know in the uh, down below. And I hope you click like, subscribe, and follow me. Um, hopefully, the next video I'll post will have me on the water catching some fish. So until then, this is Esteban signing off. Y'all have a great day.